transporting Canada's used nuclear fuel. Hello, my name is Yang. I'm a design engineer with the Used Fuel Transportation Group here at the NWMO. We get a ton of questions about transporting used nuclear fuel. I'm here to answer some of them. How will you ensure safety for people transporting used nuclear fuel and people along the route? That's a good question. All aspects of Canada's plan are designed to protect people and the environment. And that includes the transportation program. For transportation, safety begins with the design of very strong packages that will be used to transport with used nuclear fuel. These packages are very durable. They're engineered to withstand extreme conditions without releasing their contents, even during accident scenarios. The used fuel transportation package has three components, the body, the lid, and an impact limiter. Fully loaded, it can hold 192 used fuel bundles. Did you know, when fully loaded, the NWMO's used fuel transportation package weighs 35 tons. That weighs more than five African elephants. What are the time frames for transporting used nuclear fuel? The NWMO plans to transport used nuclear fuel to the Deep Geological Repository starting in the 2040s, and it will take about 40 years to complete. Did you know the amount of time it will take to transport all of Canada's used nuclear fuel? It's about the same time that the Voyager 2 spacecraft took to reach the edge of our solar system. Before we begin transportation, we must select the site, complete the licensing and construction, and then prepare the deep geological repository to receive the used nuclear fuel. Even though we have lots of time, we are already developing a transportation plan that's safe, secure, and socially acceptable. How do we know that the tests we conduct will be the same as accident conditions? These extreme tests that we conduct are designed to be even more severe than accident scenarios possible in the real world. These tests involve severe impact, both a drop test and a puncture test, a fire test, and a water inversion test. As an example, a test conducted by the United Kingdom crashed a train into their package to demonstrate how strong it is. And even after being ran by a train, their package did not release any of its contents. Did you know the used fuel transportation package's impact limiter acts like a helmet? It has a steel outer shell and is filled with wood that's designed to absorb the energy of an impact, just like a bike helmet. It can also act like a heat shield in the event of a fire. How do first responders prepare for and respond to an emergency situation? All levels of government take a comprehensive approach to emergency planning. That includes prevention, preparedness, as well as response. Did you know a central transportation command center will constantly track all used nuclear fuel shipments via GPS? Provincial and local first responders take part in training, joint drills, and exercises to prepare for an emergency. These transportation packages are designed and tested to safely contain all of its radioactive contents, even in an accident. First responders can respond to emergencies similar to other conventional accidents, which they have already trained and prepared for. Are there regulations that govern transportation? The short answer is yes. Transportation of used nuclear fuel is regulated by the Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission and also regulated by Transport Canada. And the CNSC's regulations are based on the International Atomic Energy Agency's regulations. That's the international standard. Now, before transportation can begin, the CNSC will need to certify the used fuel transportation package. And we'll have to demonstrate the safety and security of the transportation system to the CNSC. The transportation system must also meet federal, provincial, and local safety requirements, and will be inspected for compliance. Did you know Transport Canada regulates all hazardous materials transported in Canada, not just radioactive materials? Do other countries transport used fuel, and if so, how? We can point to a strong international track record. In over 50 years, there have been more than 20,000 shipments worldwide of used nuclear fuel by road, by rail, or by water. Internationally and in Canada, there have been no serious injuries, health effects, or environmental consequences caused by radiological exposure during transportation. We collaborate internationally and share knowledge with the world to ensure Canada's plan is based on the best science and research. And of course, that includes transportation. Did you know the strong and robust packages other countries use to transport their used nuclear fuel is very similar to NWMO's used fuel transportation package. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that. Learn more by visiting nwmo.ca.
See you next time.